Idea Rex, and welcome to another tips and tricks video for SimCity. Today, I'm showing off a video that I've spent a long time on. It's been almost a week and a half of research, experimenting, trying to figure stuff out, and I think I'm to the point where I can give you guys an accurate representation on all the knowledge that is out there. So, here's what we're looking at. Here's my city, and we're talking about water, both clean water, which is uh, right here, and sewage and how they work together, how to deal with them. Some common problems that people run into is that they have clean water places. They have a water pumping station. Um, there's only two choices. And they run out of clean water in their area around it. Then they have to build a new one. It just causes a huge problem. You can see how this one's actually running out of water. It just is using it up, and uh, that's a big problem. So the first thing is is we need to know what, how does water work in SimCity. Um, we got dirty water over here in my industrial zone. We've got some clean water in other sections of it. There's spotty, dirty water um, where industrial zones used to be. Now, here's how water works. You can see we're losing water here. We're going to look at the date. It's July. Water is goes away during summer and sorry, spring and summer. Water is removed. Um, this actually, the area that Maxis is from is the same area I live, like within five miles of Maxis, and it's similar climate to what we have. So, during the summer and spring, water is removed from the ground, and during the fall and winter, when it rains, the rain actually puts water into the ground. So, for the next three months, four months, I'm going to struggle in terms of water, theoretically, from this water pump. Now, how do I counteract that? The only way to put water into the ground that we have is through sewage. Now, here's our sewage thing. It's at its maximum capacity. It's getting full. But you can see it's treating 100% of the water. So uh, accumulated ground pollution is very low, which is basically none. If I didn't max that out, then the rest of it would go to sewage pumps, sewage treatment plants, which are these ones, sewage outflow pipes, and that would pollute the ground. So you can see this is filling up. I'm going to add another sewage treatment tank. This will promote clean water to being added to my city. So now, this thing produces clean water out of it. You can see here, if you do not have enough of these, it'll start pumping um, not clean water into the ground. Now, the second part of the system, so that adds water into the uh, area. Now, water pumping station. See how it says water being treated is zero, and the water pollution level is clean? And you can see the water under it is always changing. That's just because the amount of sewage coming in is the amount of water that's under it. So don't worry about that too much. But you have two choices when you build it. You can build a basic pumping station, which I do because it's for clean water, right? Since it's clean water, I can do basic pumping. Or I can do a filtration pump. The problem with filtration pumps, though, is that you either have to have clean water under it or all the water under it has to be absolutely clean or else you'll start pumping dirty water into your city. So what I have here is an infinite loop, costs money, but an infinite loop of clean water. I've got water, dirty water comes in, gets cleaned, pushed into the ground. This thing picks up clean water from the ground and pushes it out to the city. So this is a great setup and I highly recommend that you guys implement this into your city, especially once you get to about um, 30,000 or once you get to a point where your city is starting to flourish. Now we're going to jump over to a different city where you can see this process is just beginning but it came from a very bad place. This is actually an old city of mine, one of the first ones I built and you can see where mistakes were made. The whole entire corner is covered in dirty water. Now we're going to talk about how do I remove dirty water. We have a similar situation going right now where, welcome to Egot Landing, I got Landing, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so this corner of the map, I wish it was lighter, we can show you guys the dirty water. Okay, right here, and we go, sewage is pumping in here, and here's ground pollution. Wow, that is horrible ground pollution right there. Um, all sorts of problems are going on right now, and we're going to try to fix them. So here's a clean water pumping station. It's cleaning 100% of the water and putting it out. So it's 100% filtration pumps. You'll see, um, I don't have any regular, I have one regular pump. Oh, it's just filtration pumps. I deleted the uh, regular pumps. Now, in this one, it's cleaning the water and it puts it in. So, how are we going to get rid of... Hey, it's raining. How are we going to get rid of this dirty water? So, we have two options. Um, one is I could delete all this industrial, right? This industrial is not helping. Um, I could delete all that and then just wait. So, over time, 
dirty water goes away. But this is so much dirty water and ground pollution that I don't think it's going to go away. Another solution that they have is you can build a park. Now, it takes a while with the parks, and it does not matter what park you do. So I'm going to do very basic parks because they're the cheapest. So I'm going to drop some parks in this area. Almost like when they put golf courses on landfills, it's a similar idea where they're trying to put grass and um, organisms that will eat up the dirty uh, things in the environment. So I'm putting these out, and these will help eliminate the ground pollution. Um, they're slow, and if there's a lot of ground pollution in the area, it can't counteract that, but it's going to help. So you can see this one has removed the ground pollution from here. Um, there's probably other spots. There's parks all over the city. So parks not only give your city happiness and increase the land value, but they also help to decrease the pollution in the area. So I think that's it. Those are all the, pretty basically everything you need to know about water. The only other option you have is to buy it from other cities. And one side note is fire stations use a lot of water. So whenever you build fire stations, make sure you are having water for the city. So that's what you guys need to know about water. Hopefully you don't have water problems in the future where you have water drying up on your city or you have too much dirty water. Hopefully you can implement these strategies to make a better city in the future. So this has been your boy Ida Rex. If you enjoyed this video or learned it or are going to implement it, I'd appreciate it if you leave a like on this video. And if you're new around here, we produce a lot of these videos, tips and tricks, let's plays, all sorts of stuff for SimCity. If you want to see more of these, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys later. Peace.